The Lord wants to minister to those of you that are watching, and if you're in this room, I keep hearing this word, night terror, and it doesn't have to be dreams. Maybe it's just, you know, in the night, there is a terror, there's a fear that comes, where it's, it's made you afraid, you can't sleep, you feel like unsafe. If you're in this room and you say, you know what, Pastor Hank, that is what I'm dealing with. I want you just to acknowledge, you could wave your hand or, you know, shake your head or whatever. All right, a few of you, I can see that. Those of you that are watching. Listen, Psalm 91 says that God will deliver you from the arrow that flies by day. Those are assignments and things that the enemy will try to hurl towards your mind, towards your thoughts, towards your life. Then the, he delivers you from the terror comes by night a lot of times we think it's just you know in in your dream realm not necessarily sometimes you can be laying there in bed and afraid maybe you hear something maybe you heard something and it's messing with you and the enemies gripped you with that terror that that fear but you know what Jesus sets you free so I pray for you right now those of you that are in this room and those of you in the sound of my voice first and foremost we come against any demonic spirit that is trying to gain access to your life to your soul to your home to your property to your possessions to your well-being we rebuke it in the name of Yeshua and whatever is bound upon earth shall be bound in the heavens we bind every spirit of darkness every demon from hell every curse of witchcraft we break its power we break the power of every satanic incantation. Any altar where our names are being mentioned, we command the fire of God to burn it, to destroy it. And Father, we speak now. Whatever is loosed upon earth shall be loosed out of the heavens. We loose angelic reinforcements around us, for us, to us, that no harm, no evil cannot and will not befall us. No plague can come near our dwelling. Father, we speak divine preservation. The God that keepeth Israel keepeth us. You preserve us, our coming in, our going out, our in between, our laying down, our rising up, and you preserve us from all evil. We are covered, we're sealed in the blood, and we command now that our minds are purged from an evil conscience that the enemy cannot exact upon us and bring fear, anxiety, despair, he cannot trouble us while we are awake or while we are asleep. For we call upon the peace and the Holy Spirit of God Himself to come and to destroy every yoke and undo every heavy burden. And we say that we have blessed sleep, peaceful sleep. We are not afraid of the day or the night. For Psalm 121 says that you will preserve us even from the sun smiting us by day and the moon and the things that operate in the evening by night. So Father, we are protected, we are blessed, we are preserved. And it is well with us. So I want you to say it, say it's well with me. It's well. And it will be well. Thank you for your protection, God. Thank you for peace. In Yeshua's name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. We worship you. I'll tell you something that's really helpful is to put on worship music. You know the right stuff. Don't put, you know, stuff on that. There's a lot of the worship stuff that is unbelief, right? You no, know, get the right stuff on that will minister to you. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. We honor you today. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I just keep hearing the word heart palpitations. Some of you, you've gotten in fear and your heart has been palpitating. Is that the correct word, palpitating? Or, or what is it? Palp you heard it. You know what it is. Palpitate. Is that right? Palp if I'm not pronouncing it right, just move on. Um, but you know what, it, what God is saying. Father, we speak that. I can't pronounce it, but Lord, you know what it is, and that's what you're drawing attention to. 
And I pray that you would watch over people's hearts, their physical bodies, their health, in Yeshua's name. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Isn't God good? Man, I feel a peace in here. Some of you just need to take in the moment, you know, and just, just release. Take a deep breath. And let God's peace minister to you. So we need to just reach out like the woman with the issue of blood and say, Lord, I pull your virtue, your presence, your power upon my life and in my life. In Yeshua's name. Thank you, Lord. know that song I don't know if that's what you're playing remember that song on the solid rock I don't even know I mean I don't know the words but I I, I hear the on the side does anybody know that song I think we need to sing it whether we can or not <laughs> on solid rock I stand go ahead does anybody know that song sorry you guys are too young for that song but Rock, I said, Don't worry if you're off key. On the ground is sinking sand. All other ground is sinking sand. Say it one more time. Just on Christ the solid rock, I said, All other ground is sinking sand. All other ground is sinking sand. Amen. God wants us to get your perspective right. Praise God.